Welcome to yet another Adobe Monday. My goal here is to go straight to the point without wasting your time every single week. This is part 12 of this series and today we'll learn a few great tips on how to create logo designs in Adobe Illustrator. Are you ready? First thing first, you need to decide if you want your logo to be based on icon, on typography or a combination of both. Those are three main categories of logo designs. Let's focus on icon first and let me say something really important here. Do not overcomplicate it. Logo should be very simple and recognizable even when scaled way down. When making logos, help yourself with basic shapes. Try to combine basic shapes to create the final shape of your logo and, by the way, using basic shapes also helps the final logo to be more recognizable when scaled down. Always try to combine different ideas together to create a meaningful icon. Moving on to typography, which is often a logo itself. When it comes to choosing the perfect font, always think about what you're trying to tell and what kind of feel you'd like to establish. Play around with different font types and when combining two typographies, use two very different ones and not two that look nearly the same. Keep in mind that I would never use more than two fonts in one logo design, two is completely fine and three is absolutely horrible. You should also expand your typography and make changes to suit your brand even better. Lastly, combined logos. It's a combination of both the icon and typography where you should be careful about the spacing between these two. Icon should always be on the top or on the left, anything else simply looks weird. And here it is! That was fast, right? All I'm asking you is to like the video and subscribe. There will be more videos like that every single week. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.